doctors thought he was dying after an overdose, but the pills he took were actually fake. You won't believe this case report I just came across. My name's Esher, a medical doctor, and I create these videos to help you better understand your health. A 26-year-old man arrived at the emergency department, barely conscious, pale and drenched in sweat. His last words before collapsing were, help me, I took all of my pills. His blood pressure was dangerously low at 80 over 40, and his heart was racing at 110 beats per minute. He was shaking and breathing fast. The man looked like he'd overdosed, but the doctors just didn't know what, and unless they figured it out, he might die. As they rushed to stabilize him, they spotted an empty pill bottle he dropped. It was labeled for a clinical trial of a new antidepressant. He reported that he'd taken 29 capsules of this unknown pill, all at once after an argument with his girlfriend, but the bottle didn't say what the drug was. So the team kept treating it like a real overdose, but they were in the dark. They gave IV fluids, they monitored him closely and prayed he'd pull through. Four hours passed, but he was still lethargic, still unstable, until they finally got through to the doctor leading the clinical trial, and his response changed everything. He's in the control group, he said. He took placebos, fake pills, no active drug at all. Minutes later, after the man heard this, he sat up, his blood pressure normalized and his heart rate became steady. But how could this be? Was he faking it all along? This is the nocebo effect, the dark side of the placebo effect. His belief that he'd overdose triggered real physical symptoms. The nocebo effect shows how expectation alone can make you sick, or in this case, almost kill you. That's why it matters how we talk about our health and why faith in your treatment or fear of it can shape your outcome. This wasn't all just in his head, and it's really a wake up call to all doctors, not to neglect the seemingly unimportant complaints from your patients and put them down to just being in their head. The way we talk about health can heal, but also has the potential to harm. Follow for more medical explainers like these.